remove his dustbin. Then flip Bob over onto a flat surface and remove his main brush using the flathead screwdriver. Keep all removed screws and parts safely aside as they may be needed for later reassembly. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the seven screws on Bob's underside that hold him together. One screw on each side of the front wheel, one screw to the right of the main brush motor, one screw on each side of the dustbin. The final two screws are in the brush compartment. Bob's cover is no longer secured, so hold the top and bottom together as you carefully flip him back onto his wheels. Grip Bob's cover from the back and lift up to expose the main board. Slide the power inlet down and tuck it somewhere safe to avoid compressing its wires. To detach Bob's cover completely, disconnect four circuit plugs. Two at the lower edge of the main board, near the wheels, and two more at the top edge. To access the dustbin's contact points, you will need to remove the wheel cover. Remove the six screws securing the cover onto Bob. Two are next to the main board. You may wish to move the main brush motor and power switch out of the way to reach the six screws securing the cover to Bob. Two are on either side of the left wheel, one above and one below. Lastly, two more screws are on the right wheel, one above and one below. Once all six screws are removed, lift the wheel cover and unplug it from the main board. Place it aside for now. Be sure to keep the wheel springs safely on hand for later reassembly. For ease of access, you may wish to place the left and right wheels aside. It may also help to prop Bob's back up for the rest of the repair. There are five more screws to remove in order to access the contact points. Remove all and lift the main brush compartment's barrier. Then slide Bob's contact points out of their spaces and follow their wiring to the correct circuit plug on the main board. Remove the old circuit plug and connect your new one in the open space. Feed the wiring back underneath the main board toward Bob's back. Place Bob's contact points back in their spaces so that the black wire is on the left. Push down to ensure that each contact point sits flat in its space. The rest of the wiring should be fed toward Bob's right wheel. Hold down the contact points as you replace their holder. Align the holder with all of the screw posts without compressing the wiring underneath. Push each contact point in as you hold the main brush barrier on Bob to ensure that it does not shift out of place. Then reinstall all of the barrier's five screws. With the back of Bob still tilted up, replace the left and right wheels if you have moved them. Replace the two springs on top of the wheels. Plug the wheel cover back into the main board. Clear the area of any wires that may become compressed underneath the wheel cover. Then carefully align the cover with the screw posts on Bob. Make sure the springs on top of the wheels do not move out of place. Install all six screws previously removed from the wheel cover. There are two just behind the main board two around the left wheel, and two around the right wheel. Now you're ready to begin reattaching the cover. Reattach all four circuit plugs connecting Bob's cover to the main board. Two connect to the top edge of the main board, 
and two more connect to the bottom edge. Remember to slide the power inlet back into its space on Bob's cover. Align the cover's edges precisely. Then flip Bob over onto a flat surface. Reinstall all seven screws previously removed from Bob's underside. Ensure that no wires are compressed in the main brush compartment or visible at the edges of the bumper. If so, take a step back and lift the cover to tuck the wires into the appropriate spaces. Install the main brush and dustbin before your next use and Bob is completely reassembled. Turn the side power switch back on and congratulations! You've just replaced Bob's contact points. Happy cleaning!